Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 35 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So in this problem, they actually give us the equation y equals 74x. And this is a multiplicative relationship. And we know that because it has a number, 74, right next to a letter x. And there's no operation in between. So whenever you see a number next to a letter that represents a variable, that means multiply. So we're going to multiply 74 times x. What we have to do is we have to match that to one of these problem situations. So let's read these problem situations. First, let's see if we can find a multiplicative relationship. And then we'll see if it matches that 74x, because there might be more than one multiplicative relationship here. A company, A, uses a total of y gallons. So they're going to give us our total right away. So let's say y equals... So we got a total of y gallons at a rate of 74 gallons per hour for x hours. So 74 gallons per hour. So we've got our 74 gallons per hour. Now, here is our clue right here. Whenever we see a rate or we see per, in this case, we actually see both. We see a rate and we see that word per. Both of those are really big clues that we are going to be dealing with multiplication. So x hours, 74 gallons per hour for x hours. That might be our answer. Look at that right there. This, we've got two different clues, the rate and the word per, showing us it is a multiplicative relationship. But of course, let's double check. Let's make sure B, C, and D are incorrect. So a restaurant serves a total of Y meals in one day. So that's going to be another total right there, in which 74 meals are served in the first hour, and x meals are served. There we go. So that's going to be an additive relationship, and I'll write that right here. It's additive. It's addition. And our word here is and. This very simple word and is our clue that we're going to add these rather than multiply them. So it's 74 plus x instead of 74x, so we don't need that. A company manufactures a total of 74 drinking glasses every hour. So let's go ahead and put that right here. 74 with x glasses made of clear glass and then y made of blue glass. So guess what we're just going to do? 74 equals x plus y. This is another additive relationship. And we've got this and right here, letting you know that it's 74 total, and you just add the x and the y. The x is the clear, the y is, is the blue. That's not what we need. So that is not it. Now, D is kind of a tricky one here. A restaurant prepares a total of y batches of pizza sauce from 74 pounds of tomatoes with each batch weighing x pounds. Now. This is where it gets kind of interesting because we have this batch and this batch right here. And this is actually going to look like this. Well, you can look at it two ways. 74 equals xy. Or if we wanted to, we could have done this. y equals 74x over x. And it's because we've got the 74, so that's our total number of pounds. And we, we're multiplying, because we get this each right here. So each is going to be a clue for multiplicative. Each, this x and this y, is because they're both the same unit of batches. And so that's why those two are connected. But either way, whether you look at it like this or whether you look at it like this, they both mean the same thing. That is definitely not what we're looking for. And so our answer is going to be a y equals 74x.